What's good guys, Austin here, and I wanted to give you a quick look at a cool new operating system that I came across. It's an Android-based operating system called Remix OS 2.0, and it allows you to multitask between Android apps. You can run apps in separate resizable windows, and it gives you more of a desktop experience with a start menu, system tray, and notification center. It's really easy to install. You can actually just boot it off of a USB drive if you want to try it out. And I'll have instructions down in the description if you want to try it out yourself, but just make sure you're using a USB 3.0 drive because it didn't really work when I tried it with USB 2.0. Now you can boot into a guest mode where none of your data is actually saved onto the drive, or you can use a resident mode where you can actually save your work and boot into the same environment later. Now the rest of the setup process is basically just entering your Wi-Fi password and logging in. It's basically just an Android phone if you think about it, so you don't really have to do much to get started. Now once you're in, you can run virtually any Android app that you want to, Chrome, Spotify, Netflix, it's just in a desktop environment and you can use multiple apps at the same time. Actually, one thing that you'll notice is that this looks pretty similar to Chrome OS. It has a start menu where you can access all of your apps and a system tray where you can store quick shortcuts and switch quickly between apps. Even on the other side, the system tray looks just like Chrome OS and Windows 10. You can change quick settings like your volume, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi connection, and everything else you'd be able to change on the Android drop-down menu. And it's pretty a nice design. You also get a menu on the right side that gives you access to all of your notifications, just like Action Center on Windows 10, and it just gives you all of the notifications you'd see in the top menu of your Android phone. Now moving on to the main functionality, you can run Android apps and they run really well. Now, obviously I'm running this on a laptop with an i7 processor, but that's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking more so about the experience. Now, this is an alpha version, so don't expect it to run perfectly or anything, but honestly, it does run pretty well. One thing in particular that I love is the fact that it scales everything properly. So if you're running an app full screen, it'll run it like a tablet, and if you make the window smaller, it'll run like it does on a phone. You can download all the apps right from the Play Store and they install right to your desktop. Basically every app that I tried worked, except for a screen recording app that I tried, but honestly I'm not that surprised that it didn't work considering that this doesn't really function like a typical Android app. Other than that, I really enjoyed the entire experience. It ran smoothly, and I felt like I was using a nice alternate version of Chrome OS, especially considering that I could run the Chrome app separately and also have access to other Android apps and games. Now, because you're running on a desktop environment, you also get access to a really nice file management system, just like you'd see on a PC, a Mac, or a Chromebook, and you can right-click on files and add shortcuts to apps and files wherever you want in the system. It's just a really nice touch. Now, multitasking and switching between apps works just like you think it would, and honestly, that was basically the whole story with the whole operating system. Basically, everything worked like I thought it would, like using the function keys on my laptop to change the volume or screen brightness, or keyboard shortcuts to copy, cut, paste, etc. Now, anyways, at this point, you might be wondering, well, what's the point of running this on a laptop that already has a better operating system? Well, there really is none. But I think if we saw this on Android tablets, it would work really well. Probably the biggest complaint about Android apps on tablets is the fact that they're just stretched out apps made for phones. Well, if you were to run them side by side like this, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, and I think you'd be able to get a lot more done with that screen real estate, like watching YouTube and using Twitter at the same time. Now, Google's supposedly gonna be merging Android and Chrome OS in the future, so maybe it'll look something like this. But be sure to let me know in the description, is that something you guys would like to see in the future Android? Is that something you'd like to see coming to Android tablets? Personally, I think it'd be better if you were able to do more on Android tablets and phones, but that's just my opinion. Be sure to leave yours down in the comments below. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, follow me on my social media in the description, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.